fishing is allowed. Three rounds of action, each with two minutes. The first fighter is fighting under the flag of Poland. He is from the Galvanico Gym in Lodz. Muay Thai now. Yes, it's going to be with elbow. Yes, that's going to be very interesting. Yes. Um, this boy is called Lukasz Misz, as in Polish Mishak. Uh, yeah, we were in the hotel together. He's 16. His coach is um, Gregor Halbinski. Uh, very, very, very established coach in Poland from Lodz from a, a gym in Lodge and um, he's got three fighters here tonight. Uh, one of them is taking part in the main event um, against uh, against uh, the Blade. Uh, so, so we have, uh, now we have uh, the first fighter of Raj Tegen tonight, uh, tonight in the ring. Yes. Justin Pulka. You know Justin for sure, right? I know him. Actually, he's from Berlin originally. Okay. And he lives in Hamburg uh, since uh, the past three years. And uh, he's 25 years old. And he had five fights. Just waiting for the white crew music to yes. come up now. Uh, Ralph's boy is a, a bit older, also has a few kilos more. But the Polish team told me this morning um, Lukasz is, is a strong 16 year old. So, so we'll see. It'll be exciting. He's a bit taller, I think. So, so Lukasz is more experienced? Maybe, yeah. Yes, you with 15, what would you what 17 you, fights. 17 they told me fights, this morning, 17 fights. You know, fights. and uh, Justin is, uh, has uh, more weight and he's a little, maybe a little bit less experienced. I guess this is how you can um, adjust it. <laughs> Nice to see a Muay Thai fight on the cards here at Ralph, uh, Ralph's show. Uh, and also nice to see a, a white crew also to respect. Uh, this is the traditional sport. way, yes. you know. These guys, like, it, this is what they, they appreciated, you know. It's, it's, it's a kind of appreciation to the sport, you know. Mm. Seems to that he had spent quite a little bit in Asia. When you look at his tattoos, <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, uh, looking at what he's got. And While we're talking about Muay Thai and Thailand and, and Rav Stega, um, um, a few months ago I, I was uh, again in, in, in Thailand and Ralph was there with a few fighters. Okay. He, was, he was there with Gerardo the Blade also and I saw him training. I watched uh, Gerardo the Blade who's fighting tonight main event. I watched him training um, in a camp in Patea with, with Ralph and um, very impressive. I'd never seen him train before. I, I went to meet Ralph there and watch the boys training. And um, Ralph has got a very long history in Muay Thai as well. He respects all the traditions and, and uh, he's always trying to build Muay Thai fighters. So I'm very happy, personally happy to see a, a Muay Thai fight now. Also with Ralph's boy in, in the ring. And later the main event, um, I'm excited for this. This is going to be a good fight, I think. Ralph had, has, had, um, had fight in, he fought, fought in Thailand. Yes, you know? I know, many times. He did, yes, yes, he did. He kind of lived there for a long time. And he, yeah, like you, he has been in Thailand a lot. Yes. Yeah, we had a, a, a good few hours together in the gym, and, and um, I know he's a, a, a big fan of this sport and helping develop it in Germany, and that's always good to see. You, we need more people like Ralph also to support Muay Thai, not just yes. kickboxing, boxing, MMA. Um, but here we go. It's off. They're off. So this is Muay Thai, three rounds, two minutes, um, but with elbow guard, so it's probably C-class, they define this as C-class. So when Justin comes with his elbows, it's going to be dangerous. Okay. Because he is heavier than, no, than his opponent. Hmm. Boxerska! Boxerska! Seria! Don't just be! 
We see some nice clinching now. You know, this is what is different. Uh, it's the difference to the to more uh, to the K1 yeah. that they break. So you never see clinching at K1, which is another art of fight. You know, when you get in the clinch and then. Yeah. We have another low blow, unfortunately. Unintentional load load from, from Lukas. Here we go. Back again. Good round. Yeah, good round. I think I'll give it to Rouse boy. Yes. Yes. I agree. Uh, I agree. Red corner. He was looking for it, you know? Yes, yes. He's I think he's gonna look for it in round two as well. But I I have to say I like the the, the, the what's his name? Lukash. I like Lukash. I like his his way oh. and he had always a little bit of answers, even with elbows. Did you see that? One mm. elbow came really mm. A strong Dave, right elbow, right, he, yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And if that would have connected with no elbow protection, uh, these are dangerous elbows. I tell you. I spoke with a coach, um, also lunchtime, and he said he doesn't see this as a, a big fight, he sees it as a, as a test, he just wants to see how his boy is doing at 16. So he knows it, he's a, a disadvantage, he said, we're smaller and, um, and lighter. But he wants to see how his boy performs with 16. I think he's doing very well. The Polish boy is doing okay. But I think he's, he's, he's not pointing enough. And uh, Ralph's a very experienced coach also. He's, he has more physique, you know? Yes, yes. Is, you know, you can tell there's a maybe, uh, you, can, you can say maybe a little advantage. Yes. The age and the weight. Yes. But again, there is a well-matched well fight. This is an interesting fight. Yes. You still feel that if the Polish boy can connect with something, he can make a difference. But he's way behind. He's, he's, he's behind, but he, uh, sometimes, ever, you know, in, in some moves you can see he always he has an answer. Yeah. And uh, but well, now he uh, yeah. maybe it's a little bit too much. You I know? think so. Yeah. The pressure is too much. The pressure is too much. Yes. Yeah. I think also his condition is he's, he's gonna go down. It's done. But yes. I tell you that it is it is I tell you sixteen to twenty-five is a big difference. Yes. I tell you. And um, and also conditioning head up to to this shot. young guy. Well done from Justin. Yes. But as I say, the coach told me today it was a test for him. They wanted to see how good he is or, or how he, where he stands. I think he's done himself proud. Yes. Um, Ralph's boy, great fight. Great fight. But well done good. from uh, from Lucas. Let's look at him in five years. Yes, I was just about to say. Let's see him in two, three years. And yeah. um, if you're watching and you're young and you're and you're watching these fights, um, this is the attitude you should have if you're in fighting sports. Maybe they have a refight, a rematch yes. in three years, and, then, and, and I tell you. Yeah, just come in and try. You know, you test yourself. You 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 learn. 
and pick a good opponent. The Polish took this fight at three days notice, three or four days notice, they told me. Uh, they had to get some replacement fighters, so they took it. Well, that's and it? That's the story? Oh, okay. I, I think that's what he told me. I don't know. But he said that they took it at short notice, a couple of fights, and and um, congratulations to Lukas Michacek and to obviously to, um, to Team Day of Destruction, Ralph's boy. Uh, but if you're watching these, these fights and you're young, uh, pick yourself a good opponent, you know, someone where you can measure yourself. We've been talking, there's a lot of this on the internet as well, you know, people picking their opponents to, to get wins. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not a question of, of, of whether you lose, it's who you lose to. Yes. And if you're losing to good opponents, then you're learning, you're going to get better. And you're going to get better and make you stronger and yes. it also gives you a good reputation. Yes, it does, especially if you're 16 and great sportsmanship to finish. Yep. Uh, this is what, what fight sports are about. K1, kickboxing, Muay Thai, doesn't matter. And this 16-year-old boy took a fight at short notice, took a heavier, stronger opponent, older opponent, and gave his best, and he'll learn. And congratulations, Ralph Steger again. Great matchmaking. Great first, match. But then I think Still, it, yes. it got a bit too, too tough for him. Yeah.